the rolling in the clover. We took another rover and eaten never we'll be beaten never more. <laughs> What's the sign for it? So, oh, it's one of these. It's, so he's part. What's a pirate? So he's part, is that pirate? Arr. 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 So he's part pirate. <laughs> is, it, is it one of these? So he's part pirate, part aristocrat. <laughs> <laughs> Operation Postmaster was an incredible plan because, as I say, um, it removed Nazi or it stalled Nazi dominance in the Atlantic with their submarines. Um, they were an absolute terror on any of our supply chains and any of our warships. And so it really did change the course of the war. I mean, had, had this not been successful, then uh, Hitler could have won within weeks. <laughs> Yeah, it's mo 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 Let's let's make sure that we've reimagined the best of what this could be, you know. And if if it's similar to what's on the page, great. And if not, even better. Um, so <clears throat> it it really puts you on your heels as an actor, especially when you're playing a character like so foreign to you. Um, but then you realize tonally, this film is something totally different to Guy, which is why he's so good at what he does. The impressive, hot, like it hot. <laughs> I can't even get it. Thank you, Barney. And action. Why don't we just air raid when I don't know and sink the ocean? So should we just do a close-up on Alex? Yeah, let's do a close-up on Alex. Close-up on Alex next Saturday. What I found fascinating about the real life Marjorie was just, she was, I mean, completely efficient across the board. And what I think that Guy has been really great at is bringing that to this script and just adding what this character had. And what she had was obviously incredible wit, incredibly smart, knew everything she needed to know. She was tactical in every shape or form, but also, you know, we've added, she knew multiple languages. She used everything in her box of tools. And she, as you see, is, she's quite the brains of the operation. The men are just doing the heavy lifting. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to say this. <laughs> Push it until it stops. <laughs> don't panic, I think don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> you can brush up your Italian Caesar. <laughs> I think what has to happen is you have to you have to understand the characteristics of the historical characters that you're playing, the fundal, fundamental character of the, um, of the role that your actors are then playing. As long as you understand the fundamental essence of who they are, then everything else sorts itself from there. The character sort of writes its own script and its own story, if you will. They write their own character. So you, ju you do have to do some historical research on on who those characters are. By the way, how great, how great do these cats look? I know, they look fantastic. I want to make that film. I want to make that film! <laughs> Prequel. Just uh, oh, lovingly say, into each so other's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you don't need to chase me at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's quite nice to just sort of button it off with a good luck or a fucking good man or a something. Yeah. Hold out your hand and smash it. Yeah, that's the only. Michael! Marjorie is just this wild, funny, 
bold <laughs> operative uh, that Heron's got to, you know, show around and together they're going to cause some havoc. In Yoruba. In Yoruba, uh, it's yeah. going to be Mio Chidbadi, Makbada Latirang, oh my man called Mio Chidbadi, Amara. Perfect. Makbada Latirang. All right, Ricardo. Today you're El Capitan. Mando? I love being on the water, and so the opportunity to actually be at sea again uh, while shooting was extraordinary. Uh, I think in this day and age, one would normally expect to be on a green screen stage, um, and at most um, on a gimbal, but not even that, maybe just a bit of camera movement like this. But something about being on the water, something about being off such a beautiful coastline like we have here in Turkey, it really helps sell the world. <laughs> Wrong time was it? <laughs> I think I have the largest uh, costume and the largest change in hair and makeup and costume in the whole cast. I think the boys are in one costume the entire time so Lulu had a lot of fun and the hair and makeup department had a lot of fun. But it's great. I mean, it's it's just I've never played a period piece. You know, I grew up as a Mexican woman, seeing all these movies and being like, I'm never going to be able to play any of these roles because I'm nor English or American. And there was very few Latin characters at the time in that world. So it's always been my dream to be in this look, and and being able to bring it to life has been incredible. <laughs> This is the thing, the trick with the, with the suitcase. I'll take the suitcase. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. There's no way. I can manage. No, no, no. All right, here we go. Bit of German singing coming up from Ace Up. German singing coming up. Henry is the first one there, last to leave, um, always knows his stuff, is always positive. Um, here to help make the movie the best movie it can be. And uh, he leads by example. I'm so impressed. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a show where I'm number one and I understand the pressure that that is, the responsibility that is, and how people look to you and then decide what kind of movie are we making based on, you know, what number one's approach is. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm so impressed um, by who he is, you know, seeing firsthand how he operates. Um, so I've, I've really enjoyed working with him so far. That way. Oh, 46, take three. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, camera set. And action. Lesson, darling. How long was that fuse you attached to the anchor chain? We'll find out soon enough. Action. So we're here. Fernando Poe's there, just north of the equator, just off the West African coast. So that's the shortest route? Yes, but we don't want to go shorter. Our priority is not to be seen. You may be seen again. Again? What's swapping this now, guys? An unsanctioned, an unofficial, and unauthorized mission. If they're picked up by the British, they'll be thrown in jail. We're looking at a, a throat slice here. Parry, throat slice. Puts it into his back and drives it down through the ribs. From this guy, he's stabbing him straight into the ribs. He'll turn him around, off you go up. This is where he'll go. and bow him here. Do I have a favourite action sequence in this film? Well, seeming as Alan takes most of the action and saves me most of the time, <laughs> I would say uh, my favourite experience watching the action is um, I have been captured and the boys are coming to save me and I'm compromised in a pretty um, unique way, shall we say. Uh, and the comedy aspect between Alan and myself 
that plays out in that scene is, is, is quite funny. Be the Batman, be the sky, and then route, route, route. Let's go again, yeah, go again. So we go from the top. Anyway, my suggestion is, is that we take this route uh, and avoid the waters that the Germans patrol, but still catch the wind that we need. Great. Hey, Izzy. You think you can manage that? Leave it to me, sir. Yeah, it's slightly patch on the other side. No, it's just really And then what's the next? Uh, you go in there. We focus on her strengths as a woman and what she really brought to the mission versus anything else. And I think that at the end of the day, I mean, it just goes to show how well equipped she was that she really helped incredible. She was a huge, huge piece of the puzzle when it came to this mission. So um, it is really cool to be able to bring that real story to life. And action. Ha <laughs> ha 